So the Riders Republic is a game many people including myself have been waiting on for a while. Upon those first trailers we originally got ages back, many of us felt if done right this game could be incredible. Today I give you guys my honest thoughts on the game after receiving early access to a pre-release demo thanks to Ubisoft. Now I will state, although I appreciate Ubisoft reaching out to me, it won't influence my opinions on this game and what you will hear from me today. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So the Riders Republic like I said is a game many of us were excited to learn more about. I personally only really watched the original trailers ages back and then if I'm honest didn't keep up with the information dropped on the game after that. And if you were the same you probably like me are going to be surprised by the type of game this actually is. So the Riders Republic combines many forms of racing into one game, downhill mountain biking, road biking, skiing, snowboarding, paragliding, windsuit flying and much more. It combines all of them into a single game. And although you would probably feel that's a lot of mechanics to perfect, and although I'd agree with you when you think like that, upon actually playing it, it does well for you. Kinda perfected. Now I won't blabble on too much about each instance and available racing option you have in the game because I do have videos on my channel dedicated to each kind of a race this game offers but I will say this, it feels great, in fact it feels great to a point it plays better than I thought it would play going off gameplay trailers. Biking feels rewarding, snowboarding is incredible, skiing is absolutely brilliant, probably my best, and air racing is challenging but worth the effort in putting in that time. And then we have the tricks and the things you can do which are a massive part of this game too, and it's quite frankly so good it's unbelievable. When I first watched the trailer for this game I did think, yeah tricks would be there to use but it's more about that serious racing. When playing I didn't feel this was the case whatsoever. And the trick aspects to this game is a major major part and it's so fun to try and perfect. Also the things you can pull off are incredible. Imagine a combination of SSX Tricky, Matt Hoffman's BMX and Tony Hawk's, all those great action racing games and trick based games rolled up into one. That's what we have here. I mean yes some races are determined by winning in pole position while others are purely dedicated to points earned based on tricks landed. Now another thing which seriously surprised me was the fact it isn't set up how I thought it would be. I really thought this game was basically going to be a race to race game, nothing in between. But it isn't, in fact what we have here is basically a massive open area for you to explore and go where you like, which behold race tracks, stunt tracks, secrets and much much more for you to find while you travel to races or wherever else you want to go. The game's also home to a kind of social space where you can pick up challenges, sponsors, visit shops, buy gear, buy cosmetics, customize your player, gear, racing loader and much more. And this is without mentioning many many other forms of game modes this game offers like mass races that are timed events which is basically 64 players all facing off against each other. We have modes where you face off in a multiplayer team in what can only be described as a trick off where the best tricks are landed win certain points on a map which determines the game and this is really just the tip of the iceberg in what this game offers guys. Now not many people will be wondering about microtransactions which I feel you here but from what I've seen everything that can be purchased for that real life money can also be purchased for that in game currency too known as box which from me and my experiences doesn't seem too hard to earn at all. The game also has a massive leveling system which is just staggering. You can earn sponsors, gear, I mean you name it this game does it. But to be honest you would kind of expect that. So yes guys I won't lie, after watching the initial trailers my hopes were set high due to the scale Ubisoft challenged themselves with what they showcased was an offer in this game. But the reality is, after playing just a demo, my expectations have been trumped and the game is much bigger and much better than I ever thought it would be. And the game I thought was going to be more so in the direction of a simulator, but to tell the truth, gave me more so the vibes I used to get when playing old school games like Snowball Kids on the Nintendo 64 all those years ago. So yes, Riders Republic releases on October 28th on all platforms. If you've seen the trailers and it's a game you think you may enjoy, 
Odds are guys, you seriously will. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. Remember to check out my channel for many, many more Riders Republic videos. In terms of an in-depth look at the customization, uh, the social hub, all forms of racing that was available for me within the demo and much more. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.